So if you are a tech enthusiast and you've been keeping an eye on graphics card prices, then you've probably noticed that AMD, Radeon cards, and specifically the RX 470s, 480s, 570s, and 580s are very hard to come by right now. And if you do find them, they are, um, let's just say expensive. Here's why. So to understand why AMD graphics cards right now are very hard to come by, especially at a reasonable price, we sort of have to back up several years to back when Bitcoin mining was really taking off. AMD's architecture has always been much better for mining cryptocurrency, which is what Bitcoin is, than Nvidia's architecture, which has never been able to quite keep up on things like, again, mining that cryptocurrency. Now, a similar thing happened back in the Bitcoin era when Bitcoin was taking off. Everyone realized that AMD graphics cards were much better and much more efficient at mining those cryptocurrencies. So everyone flooded the market, and by everyone, of course, I mean the miners, flooded the market and bought up all the AMD cards they could. Now, obviously this didn't leave many of those cards left over for gamers, which were trying to match the best value with just getting higher frames per second in their games, in which case Nvidia was competing with AMD anyways. So at that point, it made more sense for gamers to go ahead and buy the Nvidia cards over the AMD cards because the AMD cards had an inflated price associated with all of them being bought by miners. We're now actually seeing a similar thing with the rise of a new cryptocurrency, or at least somewhat new cryptocurrency, called Ethereum. Now, if you haven't heard of it before, there's probably good reason for that. It didn't really start taking off until about March of this year, and up until really the start of this year, back in January, it had very little value anyways. The difference between the Ethereum bubble and the Bitcoin bubble, at least to this point, is that Ethereum is a little bit more resistant to ASIC cards than was Bitcoin. Now, an ASIC card is an application specific integrated circuit. So basically this card was built for the sole purpose of mining Bitcoins, which obviously made the process even more efficient and led to people not really needing to buy the AMD cards for Bitcoin mining. In fact, it made the AMD cards very obsolete compared to the cheaper ASIC cards that could mine Bitcoins at a much higher rate. Ethereum is resistant to those ASIC cards, at least so far. So right now we see miners once again flooding the market and buying up as many AMD cards as they can for the purpose of mining. Because the whole goal here is that even though you're pumping electricity into your system, you are getting more money back by selling the coins that you're mining than you are putting in. So essentially it's free money. You just plug in a system and let it mine away. Now, of course, jumping into the mining game is altogether dangerous anyways. There is very little regulation with any sort of cryptocurrency because it's virtually impossible to trace. And on top of that, you never know when the price is going to just fall out from under you. So on top of spending all the money to build your system and spend the electricity to power your system, if the price of your cryptocurrency of choice falls out from under you before you're able to sell, well, then you're just sort of out of luck. Fortunately, right now at least, there is a little bit of some sure money in this cryptocurrency, but I'm not talking about the mining of it actually at all. If while you're in your local electronics store, you happen to stumble across an RX 470, a 480, a 570, a 580, or even some of the older cards like the 290s, 390s, those types of cards, really anything from AMD that's somewhat recent, then go ahead and buy those up if the price is reasonable, because chances are you'll get your money back and then a nice little bonus out of it for doing virtually no other work than buying a card and immediately reselling it and shipping it through eBay. Or if you're a gamer that happens to already have one of these AMD cards, you may want to go ahead and start mining Ethereum yourself anyways. Since you already have the equipment to do that, there's virtually no risk involved and there's a good opportunity to make a little bit of spare change on the side while you're not playing your games. So hopefully this sort of informed you why AMD graphics card prices are going through the roof right now. If you're a gamer that just wants to play games, you don't want to mess with any of the other things, it's probably easier right now to buy something like a 1060 instead of a 580 or a 480. But if you're dead set on the AMD team, then you may have to wait a little while for those prices to come down or just get sort of lucky and find one of these cards on the open market at a reasonable price. So if you like this content, guys, give me a like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me, are you a cryptocurrency miner? And tell me what your coin of choice is. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Hoosier Hardware. They're the same tag for your convenience. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.